Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I've got Antonio with us, our boatless angler, and your line is in. I'm in, yes. He's, he's in and rigged and ready. I just got rigged and ready. Let me get a line in and I'll let you know how I'm fishing today and what we're after today. And let's get a line in there right away. Okay, so my line is in. We're looking for that channel cap bite today, folks. And uh, I am running the Thunder Mist Bait Pockets. Uh, I went with a size five. You can go smaller or bigger, but I went kind of with an average size, size five. And um, I really like them because you can stuff them with whatever bait you want. And you create like, uh, when you chop up your bait, it, it, it releases a lot more scent. So I've got a bucket of bait here that I've chopped up. There's livers in there, uh, pieces of fish. There's um, uh, even some fish eggs in there. So it's my own little concoction. And I stuffed that bag very, very nicely. And I like them too, because they're a blood red color. So they're easy for the catfish to find uh, and relate to out here. And I'm running, uh, I've got uh, the new Thunder Braid I'm running actually. And I went with 20 pound Thunder Braid. I probably don't need 20, but that's what I rigged up with. Um, 15 would have been more than enough. And I'm running the pre-tied T-turn bait rig for channel catfish. Uh, I can't remember if it's number 7B, something like that. But anyways, I'm running the pre-tied rig. It's got a nice 5 odd hook on there. And I get a lot of questions on the bait pockets. How do you hook them? Well, I like to hook... Oh, there's a bite right there. Really? Oh, 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 what a bite. Wow. That was a good bite. You just put it in. I just put it in. I like to hook the bait pockets through one end. I just poke it right through the end because, I mean, you could poke it through the middle if you want, but I poked it through the end because um, I want that hook gap. I want that hook gap. So when the catfish take the, the bait and I go to set the hook, I'm able to, uh, there's, there's no interference with the hook gap. Okay, that was a good bite, but now unfortunately, I kind of leaned into him a little bit, so I might have startled him. We'll see if he comes back, but that was two good bites. So that bait pocket is already releasing a lot of scent. And uh, it's, like, it's like the saltwater fishermen when they put over a chum bag with all that cut up pieces. That's what the bait pocket is like. It releases those scents and it'll attract the catfish and bring them to your bait. Okay, let's see if this guy comes back for another bite, but he gave me two good swipes. There you go. Yes. That's not a bullhead. Turns out my first bite turned out to be a bullhead. This does not look like to be a bullhead. Nope. He's got some weight. Okay. I going for a world record bullhead. But... <laughs> now you just put a cut bait strip on, right? Yeah. Yeah, you just did the strip. You got the sliding sinker rig. Sliding sinker rig, yeah. yeah. The zip line or the regular sliding sinker? Regular sliding sinker. Regular sliding sinker, okay. So the advantage of that is the catfish can pick up the bait and they don't detect the sinker. Okay, so when he gets a little closer. Oh, boil, boil? didn't see them. I see your bait. You got two hooks or one? One hook. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I saw the boat. <laughs> you just figured he's in trouble. Oh, that was something. He took a run like a steelhead. Now how long wow. is that? How long is your fishing rod? Ten foot six. Ten foot six. Mine is six foot. <laughs> it's about twice the length of mine. But the advantage of yours is a little more leverage. Oh yeah. Do you see him yet or not? Not yet, but you must have you must have a good one. I see your bait and I see a boil, but that's about all I've seen. I watched the anchor line. Oh ooh, that's a good fish. Oh yeah. That's a good fish, folks. Antonio, he's, oh, he's oh, gone. He, he broke you off. Yeah, I think he felt oh, like rubbing on something. Look at that. Are you kidding? He's rubbed on something there. Oh man, that was that was a nice fish. I don't know if you got a glimpse of him at all, but I, I got a good look at him. 
It was a solid fish. What pound test line is that? 20. 20? Yeah, it rubbed on something down there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all free. So. Well, if you want to use a pre tied bait rig, there's 25 pound test on those. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Up to you. Did you bring some extra hooks? Or I brought extra rigs, so. I'll take a rig. You'll take a rig? Okay, let's get you fixed up with a rig. See that, see that, see that, see that, see that, see that! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if the cameraman was able to grab the camera quick enough to get that bite, but oh my goodness. Did, did you see that after I set the hook? He just took a run. Wow. Any weight to it? Hey? Any weight to it? He feels decent. I loved it. What a great bite. Oh my goodness. That was no bullhead bite. I threw it in the same I threw my line back in the same spot after that bullhead because I want to keep that scent in the area. Oh, this feels like a good fish. He's coming towards me now. Now you never want to get your line. Oh no, he's swimming towards me. Whoa! Did you see that? Wow. That was like fighting a salmon. He just barreling towards me. Look at this. Oh, that was, <laughs> he was swimming towards the boat like a mile a minute. I don't know. Is it just a strong fish or is it a big one? Now as it gets closer to the boat, I'm going to ease up on my drag just a bit. I don't want to break them off like you did, although I got 25 pound test. Your line must have rubbed up against the anchor or something. Yeah, I think that's what happened. You know? I'm just going to say watch the anchor line. Yeah. Whoa! 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 Holy, it feels like a good... F oh, nice boil. Did you see that boil? That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's not... Oh, 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 Let's go. Some weight to it. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice channel. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my. That's why he went for those runs. Look at this fish. <laughs> Look at the channel. He's, gonna, he's in the bag. Good one. Wow. We gotta get we gotta get a weight on this fish. That is unbelievable. You can see my bait pocket right there. And the hook just hooked inside the mouth there just perfectly. He wasn't going anywhere. Okay, let's get him off the hook. And you know what? I would like to get a photo as well. In fact, maybe a quick, a real quick wait. If you leave him in the net, get a real quick wait on him, okay? Okay. Got it. Got it? Yeah. Got it. Oh my goodness. Whoa. That is... 19 and change, and almost 20, so I'm going to say that's an honest 19 pounder. Holy. Take a pound off for the net. Honest 19 pounder. Gotta love that. Okay. Let's grab a photo with the, let's grab a photo, quick photo, and we're going to release this fish. Oh, that, that's all of 19 pounds. Oh my goodness, look at the belly on this fish. That's one thick big thick channel cat look at the head compared to my hand this is a big fish uh, obviously a big female holy Antonio good, good fish okay look at that channel oh my goodness thick and heavy that's heavy wow gee oh okay let's get this one you ready to go Ready to go. And okay, see you later. <laughs> that was great. Oh my goodness. After that bullhead and then after Antonio missed that fish, that just made my day right there. Here's the thing folks. If this is simple fishing at its best. Nothing high tech here, no high tech equipment, bait rig, some bait, away you go and have some fun. That was a really, really good start to the day. Yours was a good start too, but you lost them, but that was, that was, that's fishing, right? Yeah. But he was probably close to the same. It was a big fish. Yeah, probably same size, similar. Right? 
Yeah. So we know the big fish are here. We're going to have ourselves a real nice day. But you know what? Wherever you're tuning in from today, I want to thank you ever so much for joining us on today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We really appreciate all those nice comments that you leave for us. Thanks for those too. And until next time, good luck and good fishing. Another bait pocket. And I'm going, oh, you know what? I'm going to reuse this bait pocket. There's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm going to do, Antonio? I'm going to dip it back into that bait mixture and just toss it right back out again because there's nothing wrong with that at all. Beautiful.